my fellow beings, my name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be telling you 10 ways that you can give yourself gifts over the holidays and it doesn't cost a thing. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is rest. Give yourself rest. You have a right to have enough time to recuperate. You don't have to go to every party that you're invited to. You don't have to go to every event that someone wants you to go to. You don't have to, you know, put your tree up exactly on the 1st of December. You have a right to rest. So that's your first gift to yourself. Give yourself the gift of rest. So the second thing that I want to talk about is try something new. Go outside of your comfort comfort zone and try something new. Now, remember to keep yourself safe and also remember that don't push yourself too far, but try something new. If there's a new activity that you've never done before, like when I first got married, my husband had never decorated ornaments before and he was willing to decorate ornaments with me and they're beautiful. They turned out awful. <laughs> they're beautiful. Demon-possessed snowman. <laughs> Terrible. I think they're wonderful and they always go on the front of the tree and he tries to put them on the back of the tree and then when he's not looking I put them on the front of the tree because I think they're fantastic. So try something new. Try an activity that you've never done before that you've maybe thought about doing but you've been a little scared to do it. Try something new. That's a really good gift to give yourself during the holiday season. So the third thing is love. Remember to love yourself and to love others. You have a right to be loved and you are loved. Whether or not you believe it, you are loved and you have the right to have that love and also give love to others. But most of all, love yourself because you deserve it. So to go along with love, the fourth thing that I want to talk about is kindness. Remember kindness. It's free. <laughs> Be kind to others, be kind to those around you, but mostly be kind to yourself. Remember that you are the number one priority, especially during the holiday season. You need to take care of yourself because this is a very stressful time and you need to be kind to yourself. But also remember that you have the right to have kindness to yourself. You beat yourself up all the time. I know you do. And you're constantly telling yourself that you're lazy, that you're not doing things that you're supposed to be doing, that you need to do more. Remember to be nice to yourself. And if you wouldn't talk to another person the way that you talk to yourself, stop talking to yourself that way, okay? So the next thing is write yourself a permission slip. I have done this before where you just tell yourself, you know what, for this activity, I'm going to allow myself to do this thing even though I know I'm gonna end up having a crash afterwards like going to my reenactment events I know I'm going to have a crash after those but I write myself that permission slip that says I'm allowed to do this one thing and then I'm gonna come home and rest and take it easy so write yourself a permission slip make sure that it's nothing that can hurt you but tell yourself you're allowed to do one thing that you really want to do during the holiday season. So the next one is give yourself space from social media. Social media can be a absolute cesspool of information. So give yourself a break from it. It can be, you know, a couple of hours. It can be a day. It could be a week. Just give yourself a break from social media because that can really bring down your mood. It can also uh, give you stress that you don't need. So take a break from social media and then you can come back, put your pictures up there, talk about how fun you've been having and then you can come back. But give yourself a break from social media. So the next one that I wanna talk about is time alone. You have a right after you've been with a bunch of people, you have a right to come home and be by yourself enjoy that time by yourself. Do the things that you want to do. Take time out to be with yourself. If you want to watch TikTok videos for hours on end, go for it. If you want to watch YouTube videos, if you want to read a book, just enjoy your time by yourself. After you've done all the activities with everybody else, you deserve to have time with yourself. So the next thing that I want to talk about is gratitude. Be grateful for everything that you have. Remember that even on the worst days, there's always something that you can find that you are grateful for. I always try and find the silver lining in things and sometimes it's really stupid things, but it makes me happy because 
I'm able to find out something that I can be grateful for. So find the things that you can be grateful for. If you need to, write a list. And just every time you think about something that you're grateful for, write it down on your list. And then you can look back and see everything that you can be grateful for. It will bring the holiday spirit into your life. So remember gratitude and find the things that you can be grateful for. It is also free. <laughs> gratitude is also free. <laughs> Greetings, my fellow internet beings. My name is Eric. And today, I need to talk about the most important thing on the list that Amanda forgot. She gave a really good list. You should all uh, pay attention to it. But the most important gift you can give yourself is the gift of chocolate. Okay? Everybody needs chocolate, especially at the holidays. All right? They are just little morsels of happiness that you can pop into your mouth at any time and be like, bam, holiday. I'm feeling the holiday spirit. Okay? Now, if you're allergic to chocolate, that is one of the most unfortunate things in the world. But find some other morsel of happiness that you can give yourself. But remember chocolate. Give it out to everybody. It's not free, but it's worth it. Remember kindness. The very last thing that I want to talk about is forgiveness. And this is a thing that I'm not talking about forgiving other people, which is a good thing forgive other people but remember to forgive yourself you are not your past self you are today's self so remember to forgive yourself for everything in the past that you are working on yourself and you are continuing to improve so don't compare yourself to who you were yesterday just live in the moment and forgive yourself for everything in the past so those are my 10 things that you can give yourself that are free during this holiday season. And I highly suggest that you do at least a few of the things on the list so that you can bring the holiday spirit into your life. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit subscribe and remember to hit that like button. If you did, if you did enjoy this video, remember to remember be kind. kindness, remember to be kind. Kindness is free. So give it out to everyone and I'll see you next time. <laughs> the second thing that I want to talk about is having hair stuck in my nose. <laughs> Give yourself a good pair of tweezers <laughs> so you can pull out your nose hair. No, I one of those things that look like a Dremel that like those things tickle like none other you know, yeah. one? <laughs> well if you get one from sharper image it's like 50 bucks <laughs> anyway that's not what I'm talking about how what? fun you've been having right well, all the fun I've been having no you said talk about how fun you've been having oh, all the you, fun you've been having you have been having yeah all the fun you've been having goodness that just do whatever the Things, do whatever that you, oh my gosh, see now I can't talk. Do things. Do things that you want to do. And that will bring the holiday spirit to your holiday. That makes no sense. Eric's holiday show. Yeah. <laughs> am, I, am I good? Yes, you are good.